every my whole like everything flashes before my eyes of like we we're not getting into this house quotes us at over six hundred dollars like this dan calls the cops and sat on the curb and smacked a canned coffee and some little fuck donuts and called my friends and my mom and cried so Good morning. And you're probably like, wait, you're in a new place. Yeah, this is my new house. I'll show you it later, but you guys know the deal. Every morning, wake up, come downstairs, open up all the blinds. I don't know if there's more or less blinds from the last house, but it does sort of seem like a lot. These blinds are so nice because they just slide up and they pull down. It's so nice. I push this one all the way up because we got a bird feeder for the cats to see, but no birds have come. We had one bird come and then Lofi jumped and scared him and they haven't come back since, so unfortunate. But yeah, welcome to my new house. Welcome to mi casa. <laughs> we live in the outskirts of Austin now. It's kind of crazy because I've wanted to live here and now I finally live here and I love it so far. I'm probably just gonna max. Max, I seriously can't. I'm gonna go about my morning, I got a little work, and then I'm gonna give you guys a full house tour later. But first, greens, coffee. I'm gonna show you guys my new coffee shop area. Solar eclipses today at 1.30. You know, I don't know. I don't know, I guess we'll just see. All right, gotta make my greensies. Dude, I love being mic'd up because I can just talk like quietly and move around, especially when Dan's sleeping. Because normally I have to wait to record until he wakes up because I don't want to disturb peace. You know what I'm saying? But now I could just talk and you guys can hear me and I don't have to be that loud. <laughs> and I could just walk around. It's so nice. This is my ghost cabinet. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is all blended bottles. I don't think you can see it, but we got a scoop of pink lemonade greens. This is the sweetest greens out of all of them, in my personal opinion. I don't think there's many left, but if you want to snag this flavor, snag it. If not, guava is also a really good one that I love the most, so. And then lime, and then original. I think that's all we have in stock. I swear to you, the greens taste good. If they did not taste good, I would not fucking drink them, so don't ask me. Do they actually taste good? If I say they taste good, they taste good. Like, just trust in my word. You guys know that. My shoddies know that. you are making a mess every damn morning. The reason why I drink my greens every morning, I feel like I've gone over this, but I'll go over it again. Good digestion. It really helps my digestion. Like, I've been taking this every single day for the past probably, like, two months almost straight again because I used to take this every day for, like, a year. It does me wonders. Sometimes, if I'm having a just bad digestion day, I'll drink it twice, and it helps. It helps move things along, if you know what I mean. To go over a few things dropping this week, massive Young LA sale, Young LA and Young LA for her. They hit one and a half million on Instagram, so they're giving 25% off. My code will equal 25% off instead of 15%. Crazy, right? So there's a massive restock, this hoodies restocking, tons of restocks, Black Friday restock for the women, Curve Collection, Urban Collection. A lot of people's favorite stuff is restocking, so code Kalo from 10th through the 13th, 25% off. And then we also have, yeah, this is your, this is real life, Ghost Cereal is dropping. It's gonna be dropping on the 10th at 12 p.m. CST. So when is that Wednesday? Wednesday. These are going to sell insanely fast, so be ready. Like these are going to sell out very, very fast online. Uh, they will eventually hit the stores. It might not be for a while, but yes, you will be able to find this in like a Walmart in the future because this is official collaboration with General Mills, which is fucking insane. So they're dropping like a cereal bowl, like some cool stuff to go with it. So Code Kalo saves twenty percent. It's enough soliciting ads for right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk to you guys about that and tell you the story of what happened when we moved in because it was probably one of the worst moving experiences in my life and actually one of the worst days. Top 20 worst days ever. I have never cried that much. Let's go get coffee and talk about it. Out to the garage where our babies are. I have so much to update you guys on. It's stupid. So this video is probably gonna be long. Oh, the light was on all night. It's okay. Ready to see them? I just gave her a bath yesterday. Gave her a little bathy. Obviously, the last time that we spoke, um, you guys saw that my car got hit. She was in the shop for about two weeks, and there's so many water spots on her. You know, I did my best. It's nice out. Why am I wearing a hoodie? Let me show you what it's looking like. Yeah, so they fixed everything. The only issue is that they actually forgot a spot, and the reason they forgot a spot is because they were so hyper-focused on the back end and the huge disaster that someone caused that they didn't even look to the left of the, of the wheel, which it's a tiny scratch. It's still a scratch. 
still affect me in the long run, but they didn't pay attention to that. So there is something that's missed, but they did, they matched the paint, they got it down. You can kind of see, it's hard to see because of the lighting, but yeah, she's all fixed. She's better now. Rim wise, I still need to get those fixed. They just slapped paint on it, kind of actually made me mad. They need to fully fill those in. So I'll get them filled in eventually, but just not priority right now. And then they forgot, it's literally so small. Like don't be like, oh my God, shut the fuck up, Kayla. It's literally so tiny, but that's still, I paid, filed for insurance, like insurance that should have covered that, you know? So yeah, that's that. That's the whole deal on the car situation. She's back in mama's hands. And I think one thing a lot of people don't talk about, and I talked about this on my private Instagram the other day, but how when you have really nice things like this, they cause more stress in your life. Like I just, it's ridiculous how much stress it causes in your life because you're constantly like, where should I park? And what if someone hits me? And oh, I don't want to take that car because we're going downtown or I don't, it's a lot. And I think that's just something people don't talk about. So this leads me into my next thing. We got another car. There's so much I need to catch you guys up on. I haven't talked to you guys in so long, but we got another car. Here she is. She's called, we have a few names going on. We have Hun Daily, cause she's a Hyundai. And we have Sean Daly, like shoddy, like Sean Daly. Here she is. She looks like a beluga whale. You know, she's cute. She's fine. Here she is. Don't mind that. It's cause I washed my car yesterday. She's a 2024. She's so nice. She's like a little spaceship. I love her to death. She's just designed to get us from A to B. And that's all she's for. Like she's for driving downtown. She's for when I don't want to worry stress about Shelby or shoddy squared like it's just it's helped and dramatically and we wrote we bought it through the business Which has helped also dramatically. I literally love her. It's so crazy Like I love shoddy squared and that's my pride and joy, but I love this daily driver like I think it's so underrated it's just it's super cute it's simple it has what it needs gets me from A to B it's got a little bit of technology in it and she's just simple and cute that's her all right let's go get coffee because I've been like updating you guys on things but let's talk about the move because it was a shit show Look at how nice. Look at how cute she is. She gives spaceship vibes, does she not? Like, look at her. Look how cute she is. She has everything that we need. I love this steering wheel because I can hold on right here and it's so nice. Just wait, wait till I turn around. Oh my God, this seat is so far back. Like, okay girl, do you think? Confirm. How cute though, right? I don't know what this is. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I've tried to like put my phone onto it. I think it was supposed to be something, but we didn't have the feature. So they just, it's not there, but yeah. Okay. So where I have the camera set up is probably definitely 1000% illegal. I'm definitely gonna get a lot of looks and or, you know, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. I'm scared that you're gonna, you guys are gonna fall. And if you do, be safe. You know, yeah, this angle kind of works. What if someone sees the camera the way it is? I'm fucking gonna get pulled over. And I screw. Okay, like driving POV. This lady's about to be like, what the fuck? Okay, just kidding. She didn't even look at me because she's like, I don't give a fuck about you. Is that a cardinal? No, what type of bird was that? That's one thing I love about where we're at now. There's so many birds out here and it's literally the best thing ever, 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 ever. God, they just give me so much life. They just haven't showed love to us because the cats scared them away. Okay, so the move was an absolute shit show. Let me tell you why. So first off, it just all went wrong like immediately kind of. So the whole plan was to have this new car. Obviously, Shoddy going into the shop was completely out of the plan at the beginning because she shouldn't have been in the shop because no one should have hit me and run, right? But originally the plan was to have Dan's other car sold and then the new car, this one, Sean Hyundai or whatever, Hyundai. I kind of like Hyundai better. It's easier to say. We were supposed to have her bought sooner rather than later. No one is staring at you. Everyone's staring at me. No one is staring at you. <sighs> oh God, don't. Nope, don't do that to me. We were supposed to have the new car by the time that the day we moved. That way I could drive the new car where we're gonna trailer Dan's car, the Shelby, and then I was going to fly back or Dan was gonna drive back with me in the new car and then I was gonna grab my car once it was done with the shop and fly back on like a Monday or a Tuesday to close completely on the house and like clean it out, hand over the keys, everything. That was the plan. We never ended up getting this car on time because it once you're when you're buying something like this through a business, it takes way longer versus doing it on your personal credit. So that took way longer than expected. So we didn't have this car. All we had was the Shelby. One, you don't want to put miles like that on the Shelby. It's the last thing we want to do. And we're like, okay, we'll just trailer the Shelby and then we'll both drive in the U-Haul together and then we'll just both fly back to get the cars and then we'll close on the house and be fine. That was the next plan. Well, guess what? We get to U-Haul, whole U-Haul's loaded. Shelby doesn't fit on the trailer. Unfortunate. We're like, okay, cool. Dan, you're gonna have to drive the Shelby all the way to Austin. Super unfortunate. We don't want to put 160, 170 miles on the car, let alone the debris on the road and bugs on the road with a drive like that is ridiculous. Unfortunate, but that was the situation we were in. I had to drive the U-Haul, which is like a 20 foot U-Haul. I've never driven in my entire life. I was terrified. I could not, like, I was just so scared. We first started driving in the first hour. The sun is blinding me, literally blinding me because I'm so 
walking short. I can't see anything. Diddle daddle, we get to the house. We have some friends meet us there and they help us unload and we get into the house, whatever. By this point, it's like 1.30 in the morning, okay? I'm like thinking, I haven't eaten anything. I've had some fucking pecans, roasted pecans from Bucky's, Slay Bucky's. <laughs> Nothing but caffeine, okay? Barely even any water. I'm like, I'm hungry. I need to eat. We don't really have a car. We have the Shelby, but we really don't want to drive the Shelby. It's also very loud and it's 1.30 in the morning and to start her, it's going to wake up the fucking neighborhood. But we're like, okay, well, let's just go to IHOP. <laughs> we end up going to IHOP and before we leave, I made sure I locked all the doors. I closed the garage and I jumped over the sensor and then got into the car. Didn't think anything over the fact of like, hey, I don't have any keys to this house and I do not have a garage opener to this house at all because we moved in so late that we would have to go pick it up from the leasing office in the morning so they just gave me a keypad code to get into the house. So technically at that moment right when we get in the car to go to IHOP I have already completely like locked us out of the house but we had no clue like we didn't even think about it at all like there's zero brain cells in my in my brain that whole week after the UK zero sleep no food like just horrible like there was nothing processing up here. We go to IHOP whatever eat food we come back probably like 2.45, 3 a.m. ish. And I get out of the car to go open the garage and I go to open the door. And in a second I go to, I put the pin pad in and it unlocks and then I go and it doesn't open and I hear the deadbolt hit and I go, every my whole like everything flashes before my eyes of like we we're not getting into this house i go to the back of the house i check every single window every single door like there's just no way in so i'm like panicking i'm so tired it's three in the morning like we just moved the whole house in that day i'm like forget like let's call locksmith never had to deal with a locksmith before don't know how that works don't know anything so we call the locksmith i do i'm handling this whole situation because i'm the one who freaking locked us out call the locksmith get the locksmith over um i'm on the phone with a lady and i'm like how much does this typically cost like i don't <clears throat> i don't know anything about this how much does this cost like what is that like blah blah and she's like oh like you know there's like there's like a fee for him to come out and then like for him to do the work and then he'll give you a quote and I'm like okay she's like maybe a little like like slightly over a hundred dollars and then like it could increase from there and I'm like okay cool great not a big deal like hundred bucks or something to get us in the house that's fine little did I you know this guy shows up like 20 25 minutes later in this minivan and he shows up looks at the door and quotes us at over six hundred dollars like six hundred twenty dollars just to get us in the door that's it just to screw screw a hole in the door and get us in the door and i'm like i look at the price i look at dan and i look at him and i'm like i like laugh because i'm it's like laughable how ridiculous that price is and i'm just like laughing i'm like no like i'm not paying this he's like let me see what i could do and see if i can get it down goes back to his van comes back gets it down to like 575 oh woo whoa, such a big difference. <laughs> I'm like not having it. I'm, at this point, I'm getting to the point mentally where I'm just like, I just need to be in my house. Like I want to be in the house. The cats are in a brand new house by themselves. They don't know where the f it is happening. It's a free for all in the damn house. I'm like, whatever. I sign the receipt. He asks for my ID. I give him my ID. Mind you, I haven't paid for anything at this point. He's like, okay, just sign this receipt and then I will get to work. Should be, should get you in in a few minutes. Slay King, whatever. I had to take a lap because I was ref like literally about to have a panic attack, crying, bawling my eyes out the fact that I just gave a random stranger over 500 fucking dollars to open my door because I'm an idiot, right? Bawling, sitting on the curb screaming crying well by the time i come back it's like 15 20 minutes later and the guy still hasn't gotten into the house like at all and so i look at dan now and i'm like dan can you like check on it and, like see what's going on dan goes and checks on the guy and he's like yeah i'm having trouble getting getting into the door you guys have a garage and does that have an emergency like break thing like if you know a garage door has like emergency break like thing you pull and then it disables it right we're like yeah and he's like oh okay cool let me check it out goes to the garage goes to check it out he's like oh this is going to be easier and it's going to be cheaper and at that point i'm like cheaper i'm like sir why did you go right to my door and try to charge me over six hundred dollars to drill a fucking hole in my door when we could have gone to the garage right away that we were standing in front of negotiating a fucking price originally and you could have gotten in here within a minute or so he's like well my expertise is in the in the door and blah 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 and i'm like sir you just drilled a hole in our fucking door you ruined our door and it's been 20 minutes and you still haven't gotten us into this house it's like 3 30 in the fucking morning or 3 or 3 45 i don't know he's like like i'm saying i can get you in through the garage at a cheaper rate do you not want that i'm like i want you to stop scamming me that's what i want from you and like at this point dan jumps in and then it's a fucking like shit show like screaming back and forth no one's happy turns into to the guy won't leave the fucking property he's like i'm not leaving the property until you pay me a cancellation fee and a fee for me coming out here which was like 120 130 dollars i'm like you did nothing you did nothing i signed a receipt for the work that you were supposed to do you did none of the work why am i paying you a damn dollar he's like this like you have to this is legally like you sign the receipt i have the receipt i have the receipt and dan's like 
fuck this. Dan calls the cops. Welcome to the neighborhood. The cops are coming at like four in the morning and we just moved in. Haven't met any of our neighbors yet. The cops get there at 4 a.m. They side with us. They end up telling him to get off the property. We ended up having to do a trespassing thing to where he can't come on our property for, no, for two years or he'll get arrested on the spot. Like it was a shit show so by the end of this it's like 4 30 in the morning probably something like that and we still don't have anywhere to go we think in our minds we're thinking the leasing office opens at like 7 or 8 a.m we're like okay let's just like sleep in the car so we take the shelby and we go to some parking lot and we like fall asleep there for like an hour Dan ends up sleeping for a little bit longer than that by this time i think it's like 6 45 a.m okay let me like the leasing office has got to be opening soon i look up the leasing office it's saturday bitch that bitch ain't opening anytime soon they don't open until 10 a.m i'm like we're both so cranky and just biting at each other's necks at this point that we're like Fuck it like let's just go to get a hotel we go back to the house and i'm like i don't want to like park the Shelby at a hotel and something happened to the Shelby and now I feel responsible for something happening to the Shelby. I'm like, let's just, if we go to the hotel, like you can go in and sleep, like, but I'm staying in the Shelby. Like I don't, I'm not risking this. Like I'm, I'm just not. And then we're like, okay, let's just leave the Shelby at the house and walk to hotels. So we go, we end up walking to the hotels and we go to the first hotel, like, hey, can we just get a room? Like we just want to go to sleep for a few hours. Like we'll just pay for the night, whatever. They're booked. Cool. No worries. We'll go to the next one. Go to the next one. Oh, they're booked. No worries, we'll go to the next one. Go to the next one, they're booked. Four hotels later, we finally get into a fucking hotel. And by this point, it's, I'm pretty sure it's like 7.30 or 8. I don't even know what time. We get up to the room, pass out. I sleep for like maybe an hour and a half. And I end up going to, I end up walking to like a local CVS. I got like a canned coffee and a hydration drink. Got Dan some like electrolyte stuff and water. And sat on the curb and smacked a canned coffee and some little fuck donuts. And called my friends and my mom and cried. So that was my moving experience. That was such a long story. Hopefully you're here still watching that because it was f***ing psychotic. It was horrible. I didn't unpack for like a whole week because I just couldn't even fathom the idea of touching a box or like I was just like scarred from the whole situation like and just in a horrible mood for like a f***ing week. Now we're good. We're feeling better. That was two weeks ago. Finding a routine. I'm really happy about it. Can't wait to show you guys my new gym. You guys have kind of seen it already on the channel, but I can't wait to show you. And there's amazing pickleball courts out here. We've already started to like make friends and stuff. Pickleball. And yeah, we've been exploring. We explored yesterday. I went to a cool museum downtown, went to this beautiful coffee place called The Perch ATX on the water. So pretty. Like, I've been loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So yeah, that's the dealio. Let me go grab this coffee and uh, get back to the house because I got some work to do. Okay, just got my coffee. So the place that you guys just, I'm like, just my attitude just went from positive to negative because I'm just having issues with shoddy stuff. And it's just driving me insane, insane. Doing business with someone overseas and communication is a challenge. It's a, it is so stressful when time is wasted and a whole month has been wasted. I could literally cry right now, but I'm not going to. <sighs> I can only control what I can control. This should never happen again. Namaste. Okay. This is called the Lamba Latte. So the place that I just took you guys to is called Lampost. And I actually didn't find this until Friday. The place that I always go to is actually on the corner. It's called Mimundo. And I have a coffee membership. I pay $99 a month and I get un like not unlimited, but I get one coffee a day, whatever I want, whatever size, any additions I want in it for the whole month. If I get 15 coffees, that those 15 coffees are already paid for. And then the rest of the month is free. Yeah. So I've finagled a little math equation in my head to where I go to Mimundo 20 days out of the month. And then the other days I can still go somewhere else and I'm still saving cash. You know, it would be smartest of me to just only go there, but like, come on, I can't only go there. There, you know what I mean? Yeah, so today I treated myself to a Lamba Latte because it's solar eclipse day. This shit is crazy. People are like way overdoing it for the solar eclipse bullshit and it's cloudy, so unfortunate for everyone. Okay, I need to get home and then we're gonna do this house tour. If you're still here, comment solar eclipse. <laughs> or no, if you're still here, comment house tour.